Let me go to, okay. Richard and LaPlata, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Is this legal, Richard? Uh (laughs) It used to be. um, The dwarf caimans used to be legal, but American alligators have never really been legal, and I got them from a reptile show. All right, so let's wait, Richard. Let's let's pause and go back for a second. So we, uh, (laughs) what your landlord doesn't know is what. Um, They don't know that I have them. That pet alligators in your house. Yeah. Two. Yeah. And how 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 big are they, Richard? Three three feet. Okay. And they're gonna be bigger. Wait, what? Uh, no, yeah, they get up to six feet. Yeah, they, they both get to six feet. Um, even maybe even up to twelve feet. Sure. And what do we feed them, Richard? Yeah, I feed them pinkies, uh, baby mice. Yeah, from, like your local pet store or <laughs> either. Um, Did you just say pinky? Yeah, like, I was like, like what does wait, that mean? Pinky in the brain. Pinky. Pinkies are the mice that are first born. Yeah. And they're like, um, they okay. don't have hair. They're like completely pink. Their sure. eyes aren't open yet. And they, oh they okay. just feed it. So, Richard, if you <laughs> end terrified. up getting if you end up getting an alligator at six feet, what's the plan then? Are you just going to put it to the zoo or? Well, that, uh, hopefully, you know, I don't have to worry about that for a couple of years. But sure. So, I guess I have to go to a local zoo or some type okay. of sanctuary. All righty. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Richard, hold on one second. Wow, you there. are in the uh, running. Hold on. Oh, um, there's a so, uh, let me go, uh, Jules in Silver Spring. Good morning, Jules. Good morning. We are hiding what from the landlord? Um, my baby daddy secretly lives with me. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, wow. Okay. It's, yeah. it's so, <laughs> not on the oh, uh, my, okay, so how do we, um, how do we, like, uh, hide it? Um, when she comes and does home visits about every two or three months, we just kind of like pack up all his things and he leaves the house. <laughs> really? <laughs> and, and then it's, it's a little, then it's like coast clear, almost like hiding from the parents. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> hey, how long have we been doing this for? Uh, where this is the third year. Wow. <laughs> and so if, if the landlord found out how much extra cash would it be like per month? I am not exactly sure. Um, his credit's not the best mine sure. is, so that's the reason for him okay. not being on there. Listen, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to the hustle. All right, Jules, hold on one second. You are in the uh, running. Let me go to uh, another to Silver Spring again. Uh, Liz, good morning. Good morning. So this is an apartment, townhouse. Where are we living? This is an apartment. Okay, and the landlord has no idea what? I've completely changed out all the flooring. And, oh. and what do you mean by that? Did we, like, take out carpet, put down wood, vice versa? So when I moved in, it was, like, this really dingy old square, ugly, like, wood floor. Sure. And, and I laid down, like, nice vinyl, like, gray vinyl yeah. wood floors. <laughs> sure. Oh, no, and wait. So you took up so wood I, for vinyl? It looks really nice. Like, yeah. It looks like wood, but... The wood's still under it, but oh, okay. the vinyl is like, like on top. I was and like, girl, yeah. you don't pay for that. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know, and it looks amazing. When when is the lease up? Um, August next oh, year. Okay, Ooh. okay. Uh, Liz, hold on one second. You are in the uh, running. It's going to be really hard to choose a winner for this. Let me go to, hold on, fake name. Fake name, Mike. I need you to tiptoe around this, my friend. But you are hiding, first of all, is this an apartment? Is this a house? What is this? Uh, it's an apartment. Okay. And we are hiding what from the landlord? This music. All right. So a, l- a little backstory with it. Uh, I'm a uh, struggling college student uh, studying film. And, well, I-, I originally went into an apartment that I couldn't afford by myself with some roommates. And then my roommates dropped out of college and went back home. So I was kind of left in there. I couldn't find a place that was near my college that I could you know, afford by myself or roommates, so I kept the place and I was struggling. Well, with uh, my abilities I learned from school, I started doing some independent films <laughs> in my apartment. Yeah. Uh, like Cloverfield uh, or like... Uh... No, more more like um, the Cloverfield parodies <laughs> and uh, yeah. where the monster may be wearing a bikini. Yeah, no, I got you. No, so, yeah, yeah, okay. So, um, so fake name, Mike, so you have shot adult films in your place? Yeah, uh, a lot. I actually got, like, contract. I made a couple, oh, like, with some friends, and then I actually got hit up by one of the bigger productions. Yeah. And I think I've done about 
70 in my apartment. Oh my god. Now. Dude, let me Okay, couple of questions, man. No, and no judgment obviously. Do you have a lot of candles there? Because 70, that's a lot. You're going to smell like a damn gym in there. Ew. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of candles, a lot of Febreze around. Yeah. Uh, got, got, you know, I got the whole setup. I don't sleep where I shoot. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, no, I get that, brother. Lordy. You, you have enough plastic. It looks like Dexter's doing like a murder in there. Uh, there is definitely prep work before yeah. every, oh my God. every shoot. Fake name, Mike. How much money? So 70 films you've shot in your apartment. How much money have you made so far off of those things? You, you the IRS? Like No, <laughs> no. <laughs> my, fake name, Mike. This is cir- ah. It's a circle of friends. So I'm just more so curious. So like, how, how much are we talking? Um, I mean, it really depends. I've done some shoots for discounts. I think all together I've maybe made about... Sixty grand. Damn. Maybe a little, Jeez. Little less, yeah. Maybe a are, little more. Yeah. Are they all parodies, or are there some of these originals? I, the process is very unique in a lot of ways. Some of them are just straight up. I mean, the craziest one that I did was actually like a a, a requested shoot, yeah. and they were. It was like an. Have you ever seen The Office? Uh, Mike, has he ever yes. seen The Office? Yes. Abs- absolutely, I have. Okay. okay. Yeah, it was like an office parody thing with um, Dwight and Pam. I, I don't, I don't really. That was on one of my favorite works, but I think there's websites where you might be able to find it. Okay, uh, so wait, oh, wait. Okay, so I mean, you, now I'm just really curious. So Dwight and Pam, that's kind of a different, different mm-hmm. way to go with it. Yeah, no, they really were like dialogue heavy with it. Yeah. Too. I, well, that's what we all I like in those films. Where I was kind of, it got to the point where I was kind of like, do we just want to, like, do this as, like, a side piece? Like, sure. it seems like a passion project for you guys. They're like, no, no, we know where it wants to end. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. Well, when it comes to that kind of work, Faith, Mike, for me, it's all about the dialogue, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, got to lay the foundation for... Yeah, yeah no, for sure, because there's nothing worse when you watch and go, I don't know who's who. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Well, fake, fake name Mike, I'm going to put you on hold one second, okay? You are you are certainly in the running. Uh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> wait. That gig, whenever you give that laugh, I get nervous. No, that that I think that's just like, wait, hold on. Fake name Mike, one last question. Are you worried about getting your damage deposit back? I mean, the carpet stain. Okay. Oh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep.